Hello, my name's Mike M0MSN, and over the past, oh, I don't know, six or seven months or so, I must have had uh, in excess of a hundred uh, emails or uh, posts asking me how I, or the best way, uh, to put an end type connector onto a length of coax. Now, I don't think there's any particular uh, way or best way of doing it, but this is the way that I do it. So in an N connector, N connector or N type connector, um, we have a few components, as you can see. And what we'll do is, should have a pin somewhere. Gosh, I ain't gonna get that out in a rush by the looks of it. There we go. And a pin. And a few bits. And what we have to do is insert it in such a way that it all goes together nice and neatly. Okay, so what we have is the body. That's the bit that screws onto the back of the plug. We have the top spacer, the bottom separator, the pin goes in and it's in that order. We have the ground um, insertion and spacer, the grommet or the, um, the rubber seal that pushes up against the base of this and uh, also as it compresses it flattens out against the sides of this socket and uh, forms the, the seal and of course the, uh, the nut at the bottom that uh, puts it all together. So what we need to do is cut the coax, prepare the coax to go into the uh, connector and uh, this is a relatively straightforward uh, thing to do. Right, let me show you how to do that. So the tools we need, a Stanley knife, uh, preferably a, a good one with a very sharp blade, the sharper the better. Um, quite simply, you need to use less pressure. And obviously if you need to use less force and less pressure, you're less likely to cut yourself. Um, a pair of nips, a, a very good quality soldering iron, um, solder, and the coax. Now in this particular instance I'm using um, 213 because that seems to be a pretty common um, coax. Oh and of course a pair of scissors. Okay so those are the bits and pieces we need to do the job uh, so let's prepare the coax. Right first and foremost just make sure that your coax is warm. It's no good trying to do this in the code. Uh, the reason behind it is because this spacer pushes down between the inner um, dielectric and the shield uh, and if the coax is code it, it just won't uh, have enough flexibility in the cover to push it down. So take it indoors or at the very least warm it up, hold it in your hand for a few moments trying to get a, a bit of warmth into it. It's a very simple thing to start with, it doesn't make a difference where you cut it or how long it is if you just score the coax really neatly all the way around if you can and just so you can split it like so okay um, we've got little bits see if we can take it off there you are that's all you need to do and then <laughs> should have put these on first so we'll just push the, the base nut on and the beautiful uh, washer or rubber grommet Call it what you will. Push that down onto the coax. Now this bit is fun, you just push the braid back and down like so. Doesn't have to be all the way but make it look nice. You then grab the little top hat spacer, push that down over the dielectric. And this is the fun bit. If it's warm, it will push in quite easily, as you can see. Then you pull the coax shield back. So, like I said, push the top hat down. 
it's warm it'll go in easily pull the braid back push the little rubber grommet back up against the bottom of it like so pull it down over the rubber a little bit this is where a nice pair of scissors is involved you just basically cut the don't have to be too neat about this you're just literally cutting it so that it's on the spare is cut off. Let's see if I can turn this around because it's not too easy to do behind the camera. Getting any spare off, like so. Very nice. Doesn't make a difference if you've got the odd one or two pieces hanging, but it would be nice to get it as uh, neatly as we can. There you go, it's good to have the odd piece hanging but neatly as we can. Now this is where it's uh, important to have the, the real sharp Stanley knife because here is where we're going to use the, the top hat itself as the guide and just push in nice and gently all the way around. So we get to the centre core. Pull off nice and neatly. Okay, that's cool. So there's an ever so slightly small, I don't know if we can see this lip, but it is a real, about a millimeter at the most, lip um, just above the top hat. Um, and at this point, we need to get the, the pin. And that we can see we only need maybe a centimeter of this um, poking out so again with our side cutters or snips get a centimeter neatly cut it off If you notice there's a little hole there and this is where we're going to feed some solder through this into the pin. So we're going to turn our soldering iron on and uh, let me rearrange and we'll solder that up. So I'll turn the soldering iron on, set the temperature for about 380 maybe 400 depending on the type of solder you're using. I'm using a relatively low melting point solder, leaded solder, not the unleaded version. Um, all right, so there's a few things we need to do. The first thing we need to do is get our nylon spacer. Now, okay, see if we can get this in focus. Can we get this in focus? Come on, there you are. Do you notice there's a slight ridge or there's a saucer shaped this is the side that goes against the dielectric. It's cut in that way. Guy focus. So it's cut in that way so that you can sit just above the dielectric, which is why it was a millimetre tall. So that goes against the, the, uh, the top hat. So let's put that on now. Then the pin it pushes into the centre portion nice and neatly. The pin hole is at the top, I don't know if you noticed. So let's uh, get a close up of that and uh, we'll see if we can solder it or not. I might just tin the coax first. It 
it might help with soldering. for this to sit on. This should not help to talk, so not to cause any problems. But there's our little hold. And what we are literally trying to do is heat that up to the point where it's nice and hot and just drop some solder into it. Like so. Let that cool a few seconds. cool enough which it is it won't come off that's good so this one has got an indent just in the top I don't know if that's viewable or not and what we do is we put that over the other side like so and that pushes over the top of the soldering hole and all the rest of the bits and pieces and then this whole assembly So this whole assembly now fits inside this, so it gets pushed in. And all we need to do now is get the, the bottom nut, which is falling way down the kayaks. spanners on it and just tighten it up and uh, there we go all done and dusted all we need now is just to test it to make sure it's not shorted so we'll test the continuity so center core external or shield nothing Center core. Shield. Nothing. Shield. So that's perfect. <laughs> 